the last class is class mammalia or the mammals and this class is huge and this is the one that we're most familiar with because these are like our pets unless you're one of those weirdos that has snakes Blech. so we, our pets are going to be mammals um, so many of the animals around us are going to be mammals um, and so and, and most mammals are going to be land dwelling animals except for a few you know you've got whales you've got some some other um uh, dolphins and and beaver and and, the, and otters those guys are going to live in the water but most of them are a vast majority of them are going to be land dwelling mammals are endothermic science does classify humans as being mammals although if you've been in my class you know that i maintain that humans are are pretty different from um at least mentally different from uh, all these other animals they are endothermic they have hair and a layer of fat acid and fat that aids in conserving their heat so we regulate our heat just like bears do just like horses just like cats etc okay um the big thing that's different about mammals is is the fact that we do have hair um, on our bodies and our and and mammals are covered in hair and even you are you just have you just may have you know really small thin light hair like on your arms and and on your legs and etc okay mammals have mammary glands that produce milk to feed their babies um, which is going to be very different you don't see a bird nursing her baby with bird milk uh, you don't see um, snakes nursing their babies with snake milk but you do see that with mammals okay we have an internal um, mammals do have an internal fertilization except for two species of um, monotremes which are oviparous which they are actually going to lay eggs marsupials um, and placentals are viviparous which means they give live births but then marsupials are going to be a little bit different because they're going to hang on to those babies in pouches okay uh, we have diaphragm for increased respiration. We have spongy lungs for more surface area, uh, four chambered hearts. Um, we have a, a jaw structure that reflects our diet and our dental teeth. Um, you can look at teeth uh, from and skeletons and tell what the main diet was. If they're if they have enhanced canines, you knew that they were um, meat eaters and hunters if they have the flat teeth you know that they're going to be more uh, grinding like grains and vegetables etc there's an inner ear that's um can, that contains three bones for better hearing uh, and you know that like it, the different species of mammals have greater hearing than others i mean you hear you have the cats who just can hear everything and dogs and, and that hear better than we do but we all have enhanced hearing um, larger brains we learn um, mammals have more extended parental care uh, depending upon the species how extended it is and uh, most effective kidney for water conservation so we have um, our bodies are, are really good at conserving our water go ahead and pause here and write down the information on mammals There are three categories of mammals that I'd like for you to know. The first one, like we alluded to earlier, are the monotremes. These are mammals that lay eggs, they have hair, and they produce milk with mammary glands. So they're laying eggs almost like a bird or a reptile or something, but at the same time, they're covered in hair, unlike those other animals, and they're gonna produce milk with mammary glands, unlike those other animals so they're kind of the slight exception to the rule because of the fact that they lay eggs the mother produces milk which is excreted from glands we um on the abdomen and the babies um, lap or suck the milk off the fur of the mother so in humans we've talked about the anatomy this is breasts and females you have the udders and cows so you know just depending upon the species what we call them where they're located okay you have examples of those and, and the most famous one is obviously the platypus the platypus has this um 
cartilaginous, what a great word, a cartilage bill used to find food on the bottom of a pond or river. The males actually have poisonous spurs on their hind feet for defense, and the platypi store fat in their tails that are kind of like beaver tails, so they're really interesting monotremes. Go ahead and pause the video for you to write these notes down. The second group of mammals we want to talk about are marsupials. They have an embryo that develops in a uterus with a placenta just like we studied in, in um, humans. Their immature fetus, though, it's not completely formed, is born into this pouch called the marsupium, thus their name. And the babies will then develop in that marsupium. They're attached to a teat until um, they're a lot more mature. So they're going to, that's um, the whole pouch thing with the babies developing. And so unlike a lot of other mammals where the baby is born completely developed in marsupials, this is not the case. All marsupials live or are native in Australia, with the exception of, a, of the opossum, which we have around here. Okay, take a minute to write this down. All right, your last group is the one that we are most familiar with, and those are your placentals, your placentals. And the placental mammals develop in a uterus attached to a placenta until they're very developed and advanced. Okay, then they're born live, and not that they're like totally ready to be on their own, but their bodies are completely developed. These are very widespread on Earth. They can be found in every major biome, um, even the marine and Arctic and the tundra. This placenta um, is this organ in which the materials are exchanged between the mother and baby, and we actually alluded to these when we talked about reproduction earlier as being a characteristic of life, and we looked at how the baby forms inside the mother's uterus. It grows, 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 and so what the mother takes in through its body is what's delivered to the baby as well through that placenta. Then once the baby is born, um, you, you cut the cord. The placenta, it, the baby comes out of the placenta um, and then is ready to be on its own. Take a minute to write this down. <laughs> 